Well, she calls herself the grandmother of food bloggers. Delia Jo has been doing this for a long time. And you know some of the best places in the Nashville area to grab a bite to eat, right? Um, and you even have your own book. You're writing a cookbook? Uh, I'm or writing the, a cocktail recipe book. The cocktail book. Yeah. Re recipe book. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about it. Yeah, so, yeah, I've been... My food blog started 15 years ago, um, but this is my first time writing a book. I um, have written a million articles, so yeah, it's just a collection of recipes from some cool Nashville bars and restaurants with great cocktails, obviously, so. You are like the Carrie Bradshaw of Nashville right. and food, yes. right? <laughs> you probably have seen her all over social media. Your Instagram is fabulous. Thank okay, you. so you gave up alcohol a couple years ago, so today we are all about talking about mocktails and places that have great food as well. Yes. So we're going to start with the first one, mm -hmm. June. Yes. Tell us all about it. So I think for a splurge special occasion, like the thing about when I stopped drinking was I felt like I was going to miss out with wine pairings and things like that. So the cool thing about June and what um, Eric, the, the bar guy there, has done is everything is so thoughtful and so expertly crafted. And it's just an amazing special event dinner. Yeah. Of course, Sean Brock, everything he does there is so amazing. Oh, there's, you know, um, just they're doing great stuff there. And it, people at the table that do drink actually want to try what I'm doing at the pairing. So that's super exciting for Nashville and just the thriving yes zero proof scene here unique bites too yeah very much so very okay cool. yeah number two the fox the fox so that is my that was always my go-to recommendation for cocktails but they equally share the love for people who don't drink um, the team there has a great attention to you know thoughtful ingredients they have a great vegan friendly bar snacks mm -hmm. um, it's just a great spot to go before or after dinner location yeah uh, what about the Hawthorne tell us about that yeah um, Hawthorne is a former fellowship hall. Now there's a great restaurant inside, and Haley there also killing it with NA drinks. She has a few um, Giovanni, I think, on, on the menu, but they can also just craft something to your to your own taste. Now, where is Hawthorne? Where are the, yeah. are the Fox? Yeah, where are the yeah. locations? June and the Fox are both in East Nashville, and Hawthorne is, I guess, Charlotte Pike, okay. west, the west side Very of town. Good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. What is this that we're looking at oh, right that's here? That's a, a sausage dish and some pierogies that Josh Ooh. made at Hawthorne, right? Ooh. I mean, their menu right now, yeah, they just got a new chef a few months ago, and he's doing a great job. And oh. It's just cool that you're eating an old fellowship hall, so it's got that, you know, southern, little southern heritage. Vibe, yeah, exactly. Bit. Okay, last but not least, we're talking about folk. Yeah, folk, that's one of my go-tos for dinner recommendations for sure. Um, and Jordan there does a great job also, giving you giving you some love if you don't drink. So I just recommend What kind of mocktails do they yeah. have? Um, he can do he can do anything crafted to your liking. I think the menus change pretty frequently, so just yeah, anything they have, they use some in a spirits. Okay. Yes, it's just more than just a juice box. You know? Okay, very good. And yeah. not too sweet and sugary. Exactly. Very good. Balance. Balance. Balance is key. And, and I want to go back to what you said yeah. uh, originally. You've been doing this for 15 years. Food, 15 travel. 15 years. Yeah, before of... Instagram, I, I had a blog. That's right. so, yeah, so you got to yeah. have some cool stories to share, right? Yeah, I think the coolest thing I've gotten to do was I, I was consulting for Netflix as Somebody Feed Phil, and I got to dine with Phil in Nashville yes. at Pelican and Pig. Um, so that was really cool. And just, I've gotten to judge Southwest chili competitions for Southwest Airlines. I've gotten to travel. I'm going to Pizza Fest in uh, Chicago in two weeks after. Yeah, yep. so just lots of, lots of cool things have come from just doing something that brings me joy. Um, now, awesome. she's also celebrating a big birthday. This yeah. Friday, she's turning 41. And tell us what your challenge <laughs> was. So I just randomly decided to go on a pizza crawl two weeks ago. And um, <laughs> we hit up like 12 in one day. So I was like, what if we eat 41 different pizza places before my 41st birthday. So we're almost there. I'm really tired of pizza, but then I'm going to Chicago to eat more pizza. Oh. I've never met anybody that's ever gotten tired of pizza. It's like one of those things. I didn't think things. it was possible, but. Right. 40, 41, 41 yeah. in three weeks. We're in that's three fair. weeks. So. And you can check out the Instagram for all yes. of that. Yes, Instagram is great. Very yes, good. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, I'm yeah. a daddy with Dilly Joe. Yes, exactly. Yeah. All right, well, check cool. out her blog and find her on social media. Again, she's at Dining with Delia Joe, and she's so fabulous. Happy birthday, girl. Thank yes, you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me.